In this lesson, we will create a sample project folder with few code files. In our system, GitHub Desktop is already installed. Hence, Git is already there. We already have a GitHub account. We will create a local Git repository. Also, one GitHub repository. We would commit the code into the local Git and finally push it to the remote GitHub repository. In this hands-on session, I will guide you through creation of this sample project, initializing the local Git repository, committing the code locally, and finally pushing it to the remote repository on GitHub. We'll perform each step hands-on, but while covering the steps, I'll try to explain the key concepts also. Let's get started. So, in my system, I have opened GitHub desktop. As I have logged in here, it is showing me the repositories in GitHub, and on the right-hand side, there are multiple options. In case you are not logged in, let me simulate your scenario. I will go to File, Options. I can sign out from here. Click Save. Now, I don't have anything over here. So, in case you are opening your GitHub for the first time, what you can do, go to File, Options, Sign into GitHub, Continue with Browser. Here, as I am already logged into my account, using the browser, it is directly asking me to continue. In your case, you might need to provide the credentials. Clicking on continue, open github desktop.exe. Now it is showing me all the repositories. So we are in github desktop now. This is my sample project. In my sample project, I have a Python code. Let me open it. Just a hello world. And there are two additional text files. So this is my project directory. Now I would create a local git repository. Go to github desktop, file, add local repository. I am going to my project directory from here. Click on choose, select my project, select folder. Here it is telling this directory does not appear to be a git repository because it does not have any .git folder. Would you like to create a repository here instead? Click on this. The name is already selected. At the bottom there are other options. There is description. The path is shown. If you want to initialize a readme, I don't want that. Git ignore and license will ignore for the time being. Click on create repository. So, when we create a new repository like this, there are actually several steps that happen in the background. The directory which we saw, it got initialized. So, can we can start tracking the changes with Git. At the bottom of this application, we can see a message that says there was one initial commit. What is this initial commit and what it contains? If I click on history, it is showing me it has added all these files. It has committed them. On top of the three files I had, we had this .git attribute file. It is added by default by GitHub Desktop. It is a file used to control how different types of files or paths are handled during versioning and merging. It helps maintaining consistency in projects, but if you don't necessarily need to use one when you are working alone. However, this file won't have a significant impact on your project, so we can just leave it as is. Now, these are only happening in the local directory. In the repository bar, you can see there is a publish repository option which would create a repository on GitHub. If I go to my project directory now, here I can see my old three files and this .git attributes. But if I go to view and check this hidden items, I can see this is the .git folder or the local git repository that is being created. So, initial commit has been done. Let me make some more changes over here. I open this, just adding another line over here. Let's go back to GitHub Desktop. Here, you can see it has already identified the changes. If I click over here, it is showing this is the change that is added. Now, what we can do? We can commit it. And if we want to unstage this, we can click over here. Now, this core concepts like commit and stage, etc. I'll explain very briefly. Let me commit this file first. By default, this commit message is there. I'm not changing it. Clicking on commit to main. If I go back to history, now I can see two commits. This was the first one where we committed all three, all four actually. And this is the second one, the change to the sample1.txt. Now, let's understand few of the key concepts first. What we have done so far, we have created a sample project or sample folder rather, sample git project. There, we had some project files and this is working directory for us. Remember these terms, this is working directory or working tree, workspace, whatever. Now, we initialized a git project or git repo over here. This is our local git repository. What is local repository? What it does? I'll explain. So, working directory we had 
and conceptually we created this dot git folder or local repository as well once the local repository is created this project is tracked by git the local git now comes a conceptual thing which is the staging area it is not a real folder it does not exist physically but it is a concept whenever we make some changes in a git project in a file or multiple files we need to commit those changes into our repository but before committing that file is staged conceptually it is prepared for commit if we remove it from stage then it is not prepared for commit suppose there are multiple files those are changed out of them some of them you want to commit those are staged and then committed but if you don't want to commit them you just move them out of the stage but what is commit itself let's understand that it's a snapshot of a repository at one point of time it can contain change in one file or multiple files now each commit contains the snapshot of the files as i mentioned a commit message we need to mention author and timestamp would be there when the commit is made and internally it would create a unique identifier for tracking purpose as we discussed earlier we have three sections working directory stage and the dot git directory or the local repo working directory the project folder or directory where your project files are there the local repo or the dot git directory is the place which stores the entire history of your project it contains the commit history the staging area branches configuration etc branches and all i'll explain in later chapters stage it is an area it's a virtual area which prepares you for commits now the standard flow is if you have a local repository from there you need to perform checkout now we did not need to do checkout because the project was created from the beginning so all the changes from the local repo or the dot git directory were already moved into the working directory now in the working directory we will make some changes it would be moved to stage and from stage you can commit so for a particular file there are three states actually modified or untracked staged and finally committed by modified or untracked we mean a file was there it was committed and now some changes are done so it's modified a file not yet committed so it is untracked it detects changes by comparing the current state of the file with the version that is there in the repo now for staged it's the process of marking to be included in the commit as i said earlier whenever it is staged means it is added to index it is also known as staging area an entire file can be staged or only a specific portion of the file can be staged now committed represents the files that have been added permanently to the repository then it becomes a part of the repository's history so coming back to what we did we had our sample project working directory is there stage is there local repository is there now we need to push our changes to the remote repository in github so flow wise we did this we had the local code it was already committed to the local repository now there would be a remote repository and there it would be pushed let's go back to github desktop so if you see this particular bar on the right hand side here it is showing publish repository publish this repository to github and this is a branch in a repository there could be multiple branches by default it is the main branch only now so click on publish repository it is going to publish this code in a new repository in our github.com account the project name would be this if i want to add one description let me add it we can keep this repository private or we can make it public let me uncheck this publish repository now it is published to github in the history we can see the commits in the changes we don't have anything let me go to the github repository to find out whether it got published or not so here i can see my new repository is created let me click this so all the three files along with this dot git attribute file it is there and it is pushed to the remote github repository so in a nutshell what we did we created a local project committed the code into the local repository and from there we pushed it to remote github repository and in that process we had a look into some basic concepts like staging area local repository working directory etc and different states of a file within git what is commit and all so that is all for this lesson